woodwind quintet with us in the basement which i'm really excited about they'll be playing some live songs for us and hanging out with us for the evening i do want to remind everyone to go uh, check out our facebook page that's facebook.com slash from a basement to interact with us live during our broadcast if you have any questions as always for us or for our guests this evening i have a lot of questions i think i have a lot of questions because <laughs> i must admit it's it's one thing I'm not really familiar with is the instruments we have in the basement with us, but I'm really excited about it. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. I'm really excited to have you guys on. Uh, would you mind introducing yourselves and what instruments you guys play in the quintet? Sure. Dylan Lloyd, and I'm on clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Jackie, and I play bassoon. My name's Tyler Taylor, and I play the French horn. Hello, I'm Teal, and I play oboe and English horn. I'm Kayla, and I play flute and piccolo. Awesome. Uh, so, how long have you guys been playing as a quintet together? Well, um, we, the Mint Julep Quintet, um, started in January of this year. We uh, heard that there was going to be a um, master class with the Imani Winds, which is the quintet that runs the festival that we're about to attend this summer. Um, they came to U of L, and we wanted to be a part of that, so we formed this quintet. Awesome. Uh, so, would you guys mind starting off with a song for us? Sure. Absolutely. Great. What's this one called, by the way? <laughs> Three Shanties by Malcolm Arnold. People, thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That was so much fun to uh, like watch live. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I've never seen anything like that live. So we're just having like rock bands in here, <laughs> and I play like in a band, but it's not that impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, guys. Yeah, definitely. Um, so did you guys? How you guys all go to U of L, correct? Yeah. Um, how did you guys meet? Did you guys just like have a class together, and you kind of decided to form, or? Well, as it uh, turned out, we were all graduates from the Youth Performing Arts School. Oh, okay. And me, uh, Kayla, and Jackie have actually all played in a quintet uh, at the Performing Arts School. Oh, okay. And w since, you know, we've kind of stuck together being alumni from there and mm -hmm. at the university, we formed this quintet and knew each other and it yeah. sort of came yeah. from there. 
Nice. Uh, so I guess this is a question for each of you guys individually, so you guys can like go around this little half circle uh-huh. we have here. But uh, so, how long have each of you been playing the instrument you play in the band, and was it the first instrument you learned how to play? Um, well, <laughs> when did I start playing? It seems so long ago. Um, <laughs> I guess I've been playing for six. Years wow. <laughs> and uh, I started out on piano when I was five. So and then in fifth grade, uh, I was given the choice between a trumpet and a clarinet, and the trumpet was broken. So <laughs> um, easy choice. Yeah. Yeah. See what I went with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been playing bassoon for about eleven years, and yeah, I started on flute because my mom plays flute, and uh, she had a flute. And at the end of the year, my teacher asked me if I wanted to switch instruments. And I was kind of feeling, you know, the saxophone or the trumpet because I wanted to play jazz. But he was like, you should play a double reed instrument. And so he showed me a picture of an oboe and a picture of a bassoon. And I was like, well, that one looks cooler. So I'll pick that (laughs) one. Go with that one. That's how I would pick. Yeah. It's been (laughs) fun ever since. Um, I've been playing the horn since I was in the fifth grade. So that makes about nine years um, I'm sort of the baby of the group. I just finished my sophomore year at the university. Oh, okay. But uh, my big brother played trombone, and so I sort of followed in his footsteps. He's three years older than me. Mm-hmm. And uh, I knew that I wanted to be in the band seeing what he got to do in the band, and I knew that I wanted to play a brass instrument. So I was going to go with either trumpet or trombone, but he didn't like trumpets at that time, so he told me <laughs> no to the trumpet, and he wouldn't let me play the same instrument as him. Oh, of course not. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. I picked the French horn, and it's been a good match ever since. That's actually yes. the first instrument I ever learned how to play, believe it or not. Really? Like yeah. I, I don't know how anymore, but in sixth grade, a boy that I liked like sat in front of me, <laughs> so I was like totally creepy and was like, I'm going to play the French horn, so I can sit behind him. <laughs> And that's how I learned, but I didn't it's stick with the, it. It's actually the second French horn we've had. Uh, yeah. How, how robots have, have a French horn player. Yeah, they do. Nice. Uh, awesome. So how about you, Teal? I've been playing oboe for about eight years, and I actually started on clarinet. Okay. Um, I didn't know what clarinet was at the time, but I figured it had a neat sounding name. I might as well try it. <laughs> and then three years later, I moved to Kentucky and I saw an oboe for the first time. And I said, hey, I want to play that. My band director said, well, here's a reed. Here's an oboe. I'm not quite sure how it works. Just put it together <laughs> and <laughs> see what you get. Awesome. I stuck with it. And you figured nice. it out. Yeah. <laughs> I have been playing since I was in fourth grade, so I guess 13 years on flute. My um, upstairs neighbor, I thought she was cool, and she played (laughs) flute, so (laughs) I picked flute when it was uh, time in fourth grade to pick flute. And then I also play a lot of piccolo. Um, Oh, nice. I'm fortunate enough to have uh, Don Gottlieb, the piccolo player of the Louisville Orchestra, be my teacher there. So uh, I have a lot of fun on piccolo, too. Awesome. It's so funny how everyone just comes across the instruments that they learn how to play. It's hilarious. Oh, that looks cool. uh, I know someone cool who who plays that. (laughs) That's that's like my favorite (laughs) instrument. Uh, so, well, I guess we already answered. I was about to say, what made you pick up the first instrument? But that kind of, (laughs) kind of sums things up. Uh, so do you guys come from a musical family? Like, I know you talked about, like, your brother and everything like that. And you talked, you said your mom played the flute. But do the rest of you guys come from a musical background? My mom was a folk singer, so, um, no training, but she loved music, so. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. My dad played trumpet until eighth grade, and then he thought it wasn't cool anymore. (laughs) 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 That's it. (laughs) I came from a household that appreciated music but didn't play. Okay, cool. That's that's what I come from. My dad was in the music industry for a long time, but he never really played anything. Yeah, yeah. He can definitely enjoy it, though, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Awesome. Well, we'd love to hear another song. Cool. Well, I think the next piece we're going to play for you guys is called Ares Tropicales, and it's by Paquito de Rivera, who is a Cuban clarinetist. I was going to ask, yeah, where that was Yeah, from. and uh, this piece, actually, we're going to play five movements from. Great. And uh, the first movement is sort of an introduction. It's called Alvarada. The second movement is called Son, and it's sort of a dance movement. Mm-hmm. The third movement we're going to play is Habanera. And that features the woodwind trio that is oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. Oh, okay, cool. And then uh, the fourth movement is the Venezuelan waltz, and we're going to finish it up with the sixth movement, which is the contra danza. Beautiful. Well, thank you for explaining all that. That's really interesting. Thank you.
much i feel like i need to like applaud like or need to, there needs to be like yeah, a the, roaring yeah. applause or something <laughs> <does>. like that <laughs> so uh i i want to mention um because i don't think our listeners well i know our listeners can't why are you gonna say something we, well there's, oh did i cut there's you off like, <gasps> there's like three more movements if, if you want to hear them i do <laughs> i just want to i'm so sorry no, it's, okay it's, it's fine i mean you can talk some and play the rest. Or okay, <laughs> yes. I did want to mention, uh, it's because I know our listeners can't tell, and I don't know if our people who are watching um, the youth stream can tell, but it's so amazing to watch you guys like read the music as you go along. As someone who is like a super beginner when it comes to reading music, it's really impressive to like and to watch. And someone who can't read music at all. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Please continue. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.
Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, okay, so explain to us um, what's going on in New York and about your fundraising and everything like that. Well, um, the Amani Winds Chamber Music Festival is, like I said, it's in the heart of Manhattan at the Juilliard School, which in itself is already yeah. really exciting <laughs> yeah. to be at Juilliard. And um, yeah, we're, we're just going to get a lot of experience playing with our group and um, we're planning on doing, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of playing. Teal, did you have something you wanted to say? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, I missed what you were. I was just keying you to talk into the mic. Oh, can you can you guys <laughs> hear me? All right, yeah, sweet. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, the the Amani Winds, like I said, they came to U of L earlier um, in the spring semester, mm -hmm. and not only did they do the master class, but they also played a concert. And we were all there, and I think that, you know, just hearing, hearing them play and the musicality of their group and the overall just phenomenal talent and ability Showmanship, they had. too. Yeah, I mean, they, they were just so incredible. And, I mean, I know I personally am really looking forward to working with the bassoonist of the group. Yeah. I mean, 
Um, so it's, it'll just be a lot of fun, and we know that there's going to be groups from all over the world there. So. Really? Wow, yeah. that's impressive. Have any guys ever actually been to Manhattan or anywhere near it? I think, I know I have. We went on a we went band trip. Yeah. yeah. It was really oh, really? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> there, so. It was awesome. I <laughs> bet it was. I went on a yearbook trip, and that was like, I lived in Dallas at the time, and I went to San Antonio, and I was like, yes, like, <laughs> this is awesome. So I can't imagine going to, like, Manhattan or somewhere like that. That sounds amazing. Uh, so how have you guys been going about your fundraising? Uh, well, we had a benefit concert a little while back, back in June. We had set up an Indiegogo, which is kind of like yeah. a crowdsourcing type thing, but unfortunately that we had to shut that down so we could get our funds in time to, uh, to pay oh, a festival. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's see, what else have we done? Oh, it's, we've played at a re retirement home. Nice. The, um, soliciting via letters and emails and Facebook, mm -hmm. basically. So if somebody wanted to help out, where would they go to, uh, yeah. to find you guys? Well, we don't really have necessarily a site where you can go, but you can definitely contact us on uh, Facebook. We have a Facebook page. Um, it's just facebook.com slash mintjulepquintet. We also have an email account. It's just mintjulepquintet at gmail. And so you can contact us that way. Um, if you want to call me personally, um, <laughs> I can, uh, can I say my phone number? Is that cool? That's fine. All right, if you yeah. want, that's all you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Um, I will come up and personally, like, meet you somewhere if you want to <laughs> donate money. So, um, you can call me at 502-471-7512. And awesome. uh, no creepers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's the first person to give their yeah. personal phone number out on our show. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And, and as far as our personal fundraising is going, we've actually managed to get nearly everything we. What we was needed. the goal? Oh. Was it steep? The, the, well, the whole $5, goal. Fifty-four hundred dollars, isn't it? Y yeah. yeah. How much at, was that? At the beginning of, before we got any assistance from anyone. The total cost that we were looking at for this whole trip was close to about $11,000. Wow. So yeah. that's, wow. <laughs> that's with all of our tuitions, the room and board, and travel expenses. And, um, subway passes. Yeah. All that. Wow, that's all that. like nice. all the stuff that you don't really think about. I mean, I subway passes. I wouldn't even <laughs> think <laughs> about that. Like and food, of course. Yeah, yeah food, absolutely. Yeah, we're a hungry food. quintet. And so we've <laughs> been like trying to find ways to cut that cost down as well as raise money. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <sighs> um, that's exciting. So will you guys you guys will be on the homegrown radio hour too, right? Yeah. That's on is it that this Wednesday? Yes. yes and then it is. when do you guys go on your trip? Friday. Well, we're going to get the car Friday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're just like ready. You're like, yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> and then you leave Sunday morning. Was that Saturday, Saturday morning? Awesome. Super early. How long is the drive? It's about mm. 12, 12 hours. hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's not so bad. Yeah, that's we not as bad as I was expecting. You know. Well, and yeah, getting into New York City is going to be just scary in itself. Yeah. Who knows what kind of. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah. We will walk yeah, into. absolutely. Wow, so. that's awesome. It seems like it would be so much farther away, just because you're like, you're like Manhattan. Yeah, that can't New be anywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. you um, got a whole different accent up there. It's got to be far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, far we've been able to raise the tuition cost and the cost for a stay. The remaining cost that we're trying to fundraise for is transportation with our yes. <laughs> rented car and gas. And yeah, absolutely. So you guys we're are. About, and food we're looking for about too. 800 <laughs> right now. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of good food in New York. You have to try. You had to get like pizza and. What else do they have? Right now, yeah. <laughs> I just know that you can't get any soup if you're uh, if you're uh, <laughs> no soup for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping somebody would get that, of course. <laughs> Um, <laughs> awesome. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, and how long will it be for? How long will you guys It's 11 days. 11 days. Yeah. Did, I, did you already say that? Um, okay. Well, I'm going to, before I forget, I'm going to go into the concert calendar really quick. Uh, tonight, um, at Zanzibar, you will find us there, uh, this evening because Woods and Parquet Courts will be playing. Yeah, we're going to, like, run over there after the show. Yes, we're going to race. Uh, Tuesday, July 23rd, we have the Weeks at Zanzibar. Uh, Thursday, July 24th, there's Buffalo Rodeo, Ancient Warfare, and Between the Tide. I didn't write down where that was, so uh, <laughs> go find it. <laughs> I don't just, know. <laughs> <laughs> just wander around town yeah. until you end up at that show. Um, Friday, July 25th, there's a Steely Dan at Louisville Palace. Oh, that'd uh, be fun. <clears throat> P 
Peter Bradley Adams and Brooks Ritter at Uncle Slayton's. Uh, we've got um, Black Tusk, Kentucky Ugly, Great Floods and Overload at Diamond Pub and Billiards. Rain Wolf at Zanza Bar, The Handsome Family at Headliners Music Hall, and of course, this Friday is the last Friday of the month, which means we'll be having the trolley hop here on the lawn, uh, right in front of the uh, the radio station, and we have Won't Go Quietly <coughs> and Forest, which I'll be playing guitar in. You will be playing guitar. Yeah. Uh, I've been back doing that, and it's very fun. He's it been playing fun. in tall squares. It's a it's a nice thing we got going. It is. And um, keep in mind, the trolley hop shows that we have here at Crescent Hill Radio are completely free. And this time, we'll be having food trucks there. Is it yeah. shameful for me to say that I'm like no, food trucks mostly are awesome, stoked on the, on the food trucks? Oh, like, well, yeah, I'm stoked to play and be a part of it. But <laughs> food no, trucks? We're, no, I'm oh, pretty yeah. for some food trucks. Actually, it'll be <laughs> the same food trucks that we had at Poor Castle, actually. Uh, which it'll were be awesome, the, yeah. uh, Booties, which has like yum, delicious like burgers and yeah, they fries were great. and tots and stuff like that and then um traveling kitchen with which had like a lot of like you know i didn't get uh, to try that at poor castle but everybody told me that it was everyone said it was so good so i'm coming for those korean tacos uh i'm yeah, yeah. i'm i'm coming for those <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> uh so please join us this friday at a, at the trolley hop it's completely free so i'd love to see you there bring your coolers and blankets and whatnot it'll be outdoors <coughs> um and then saturday i, I needed to to sprinkle this in Saturday, July twenty seventh, we have Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> oh man, he's Victory back again. Theater. I he's missed him back. last time. <laughs> wow. Well, you gotta go. Did you um, mention Wednesday? Is that the Wednesday? What's Wednesday? Wednesday with the show. What? What? You uh, say I don't it. remember what it's what the place is called, but it's uh, what's his name? Uh, Mitchell's been. Oh, thank you, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, at Solidarity on Wednesday. The show you've been telling me about. Yes, all week the show I've been so of. excited about. Plastic <laughs> Bubble. Um, and now I have to remember, you put me on the spot. Time Lords. Time Lords, um, but also Egret or something. Um, and then two bands <laughs> two bands from Arizona. Uh, and it's a $5 donation at the door, all ages. It starts at 8 p.m. Uh, so you guys should be there. It's yeah, going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that should be a fun. good time. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you for reminding yes, me. Even though I couldn't really think of it either. So. <laughs> I knew there was a thing. <laughs> there was a thing. Good job. Awesome. <laughs> so uh, back to our very talented quintet we have in the basement with us tonight. I'd love to hear another song if you guys are, are ready. Absolutely. Yeah. We can play another song. <laughs> uh, so this next one has... Are we, are we doing the whole thing? Is that, no, why not? Is that happening? Okay. Well, we'd this next one has a couple of movements to... Perfect. And uh, it is the... Hindemith Quintet, which is it's kind of a staple of woodwind quintet literature. It's, really? it's a very um, well-known piece, and it is pretty hard, but it's kind of German, and it's new, so um, it's called Kleine Kammermusik für Fünf Blosser, which I think means <laughs> five winds. So. All right, so you guys got to let us know when it's over so we don't really... Yeah, just yeah. give me a signal, like a <laughs> brunch or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> 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 yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
so beautiful. Thank you guys so much. I don't think the music is safe, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how did you guys go about, like, applying to attend the um, Imani Festival? Or what was the, um, like, the steps to getting qualified? Well, when when they came to U of L and we played in the master class with them, yeah. uh, they were so impressed that the the horn player Jeff Scott actually suggested that we apply for the festival. Wow! So as a group, we decided that we would go through the steps necessary and apply. Um, you know, the online application and everything, and we uh, applied at the university for some uh, aid through that way, and it sort of fell into place. Awesome. Well, congratulations. I'm so excited for you guys. That's going to be such a huge... Absolutely. You guys sound great. It's the first time on the show that I feel underdressed. <laughs> 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 like, I should have worn a tux to this. I thought about coming in my tux or tuxedo <laughs> shirt. Oh, that yeah. So oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, are the instruments, um, like, chosen for a quintet, are they always the same, or can you basically pick and choose? I don't know how well, that works. Woodwind quintets actually started with the French horn not being in there and actually being English horn. Oh, okay. But because English horn doesn't project as well, soon the French horn came to the woodwind quintet. Oh, okay, cool. And then it kind of became standard, but as you've seen, some of us have doubled instruments. Yes. Uh, flute playing piccolo, I've played English horn. Um, you can also do E-flat clarinet, B-flat and A clarinet. Bassoon, contra bassoon. Okay. I don't know what brass players do. There's n there's no substitution <laughs> for the they horn. Have mutes. <laughs> 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 mutes. <laughs> um, so, what? Who would you say are your biggest musical influences when it comes to the instruments you play and the type of music you play? Benny Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> you guys laugh, and I'm like, uh huh. Like who's that? <laughs> Dang, that's like, that's a super loaded question. I, I know it like, is. Everyone says that that we have been, but I'm always interested to hear people's answers. Well, I mean, I I sort of model myself after my two bassoon teachers who are nice. here in Louisville, uh, Matthew Carr and Roger Soren. So I would say they're two pretty strong. Awesome. Uh, vocal points. <laughs> nice. I guess I sort of have a similar uh, influence. I I took lessons with Steve Causey uh, in high school. And when I got to the university, I started studying with uh, uh, David Bruce Heim. He's the horn instructor at the university. But um, I'm also a composer, so I have a lot oh, of okay, wow. um, interest in that area, too. And yeah. I, I study with uh, Dr. Steve Rouse. But in that area, the, the sort of music that we just played is sort mm -hmm. of my cup of tea. I really like the <laughs> contemporary uh, music a lot. Um, composers like Stravinsky and yeah. Prokofiev, people like them. Very nice. I'd have to say Alan Vogel, who's an oboist out in California. Okay. Hopefully one day I'll meet him. <laughs> um, I just I got a CD of his when I was in high school, and his musicality in playing, regardless of bar lines or tempos, just stuck with me. Nice. Um, there are a lot of flute players that I love to listen to. A lot, some of them will actually be at the festival because um, Valerie Coleman, who's the uh, flute player for the Imani wins. She's actually from Louisville, so there's a Louisville Oh, plug. wow. <laughs> but um, she's invited a lot of these famous flute players to come, so I'll get to meet some of my flute idols. But oh, that's awesome. I do love my teacher a lot. I've been with him for eight years, which is really actually a long time <laughs> to stay with somebody for on, on an instrument, um, especially for piccolo, because he's taught me a lot on that. Uh, yeah. And then in high school, I wanted to be a plastic surgeon until I got to y -Pass, so I guess wow. I'd, have to, I'd have to say my, <laughs> my uh, band directors in y -Pass kind of me in this direction. It sounds like it. <laughs> so, like, outside of the instruments you play, do you guys, like, is this mainly the type of music you listen to, or are there other genres that you yeah. actually listen to? We listen to all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, anything and everything. Okay. Awesome. I think I might be sort of the oddball in the group. I, uh, I don't really listen to much outside of instrumental music. So cool. That's. Is, I mean, this is where I'm at. That's why. I, that's why I expected. <laughs> yeah, I actually listen to um, all all kinds of music, but I really love like the music of Frank Zappa. And yeah. Just nice. like all sorts of old prog rock, and I'm actually in a band, a local band here in Louisville called Oot Greek that I play electric bassoon in. Okay. Well, and, uh, we're gonna have to have you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That sounds sure. like a lot of fun. Absolutely. Yeah, it is fun. We have a clarinet player too, and um, so it's it's nice to be able to do. Different, different things, things. Yeah. yeah absolutely so uh, i know how often like bands like you know how often his band practices together how often do you guys as a quintet get together and practice 
<laughs> it's every week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we we as a group, we just got back from Switzerland and wow. we were there for like a week, and then the week before that, we had a week of rehearsal camp. So we we didn't rehearse for about two weeks until what was it two days ago? Yeah. 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 So awesome. it just depends on yeah. you know, what we're doing. Yeah. But. Well, it sounds like you guys are quite a busy group of people and I know especially being college students like I myself I'm crazy busy but you yeah, guys sound like definitely. you guys have all kinds of stuff going on that's so exciting yeah. um and do you guys like develop a way to like communicate through your eyes like I've always wondered that watching you guys play I'm like do, can they speak We're through their eyes to. <laughs> that was one of the things that the Imani ones told us in the master classes that we didn't have enough nonverbal communication mm -hmm. with oh, each other I didn't know that was a thing so when you really yeah. know the music you should be able to look up and know who you're playing with and stuff yeah like that. Cool. a lot of times we get we get like nonverbals where you, you just see the person's eyes and it's like, like <laughs> okay we've held yeah. this note we've held this note long enough like yeah, let's yeah. Now, please. And so you know it just it depends on awesome. what's happening uh, well, I think we have time maybe to go out on a song. Um, we're going to wrap up here. It's almost 9 o'clock, but I want to thank you guys so much for coming Absolutely. down to the basement, and I wish you the best of luck on your trip. It sounds like it's going to be so much fun, and I am... Definitely, we're excited for you. You guys sound awesome. great, so... Uh, Definitely. Thank you so much for coming great, on. Thanks yeah. for having <laughs> us. And definitely check out the Facebook page if you guys listening in. It was facebook.com slash mint julep quintet, yes. correct? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, what are you guys going to play for us to go out on well this is uh an american folk song suite we thought we you know end with some Sounds familiar awesome. tunes and uh it's super tongue-in-cheek and it'll be I'm cute but it's by yeah. Kazmieras <laughs> McCullough. I think you'll know when it's over too yeah. <laughs> okay good <laughs> thank you guys for listening to from a basement on a hill <laughs>